Welcome to the University of Michigan Dentistry Podcast Series, promoting oral health care worldwide. Situation 9. A 48-year-old woman presents to your office for a routine prophylaxis. Her medical history is essentially free of significant findings. She is currently on a 1,200-calorie diet, and she is on a periodontal maintenance program. Okay, well, we've about got these surfaces as clean as a whistle. Oh, my thumbs are sensitive. That hurts. We're a little sensitive on those root surfaces, eh? Yeah. Okay, have you been using that Sensodyne toothpaste the way I was telling you to do? No. Not as much. Okay, well, let's just see. Well, just be a little bit more back here. Mm. Is it really bothering you today? My muscles are sore. Did you pull a muscle in your back or something? Well, I smoothed some furniture yesterday. <laughs> I didn't think I did that much, though. It's kind of sore there. Where does it hurt? Right about here. And what does it feel like? It's just sort of sharp and achy. Situation three. This 20-year-old anxious woman presents for routine operative work. You're in the process of injecting a local anesthetic. Okay, almost all done. Uh, there we go. Now that wasn't too bad, was it? Oh, it was great. I don't feel too, too good. Oh, is it warm in here? Situation number seven. This 52-year-old male who exercises regularly and gives a history of blood pressure on the slightly low side presents for the evaluation of a badly decayed and broken down tooth. Okay, well, it looks like what we're gonna need before we can restore that tooth is to do a root canal. Now, Mr. Parks, are you familiar with a root canal? Oh, boy. I've heard about them. Now, well, what that is is where we drill into the tooth, we take out the nerve, and we put an inner material in the nerve cavity or area, what we call the pulp. And then we can go ahead, put a gold crown on that tooth, and we can save that tooth. The only other alternative is to extract the tooth, which I don't think we should do in this case. Oh boy, but isn't there a lot of pain attached to that? Well, no, not really. The pain comes if there's an abscess, something like that. But if you have an actual injection, you shouldn't have any pain at all. But there's, uh, there's after effect and so on. Gee, I, I don't know. It's uh, something I'd like to consider. Is it warm in here? Well, no, um, I think it's pretty good. Maybe it's a bunch I had. I, excuse me. awfully weak all of a sudden. Situation five. You're experiencing difficulty 
removing an impacted mandibular third molar on a 20-year-old female. The tooth required sectioning. Looks like there's still another piece of that root tip down in there. Let's take another x-ray and see what that looks like, and then we can work from there. You mean, uh, you mean I'm not done yet? You mean there's more to do? I thought he said it's just going to be a simple exercise. How much more is there in there? Oh, just a little bit more. We, we just got a couple pieces more we'll have to take out. Uh, how much more will it take? Situation two, a 35-year-old woman, a patient whom you have seen on several occasions previously, is currently having a crown preparation. Well, I think we'll be all set. We'll be ready in just a minute. It's fair, does that hurt a little bit up in there? What is that? What is that odor? Kind of like pills? Purse? My purse? You've been listening to a presentation from the University of Michigan School of Dentistry, which is dedicated to supporting open learning and open educational resources. This recording is licensed under the Creative Commons. It may be reused and redistributed for nonprofit use. Please attribute materials to the University of Michigan School of Dentistry and redistribute under this same license. For more information on how this and other University of Michigan School of Dentistry recordings may be used, visit www.dent.umich.edu/license.